Hey, what's going on? So today I'm gonna to be talking about these sleep headphones I got off Amazon by Everplus. So these things are designed to be a headband as well as a sleep mask and they have headphones built into them and controls right here and it's all Bluetooth so that you can listen to music or podcasts or whatever you wanna to do to fall asleep or other things. You can just wear these as headphones like all winter long, you know, you keep your head warm and your ears warm and you can be listening to music versus having AirPods in or something, right? So uh, anyway, I'm gonna be doing a quick review on this and tell you what I like and what I dislike about them. Um, I'll have a link for these down in the description. So in the box, you not only get the headphones, you also get a little user manual that teaches you how to use it as well as a really short charging cable. Um, I mean, I've got longer ones of these and stuff, but um, this is really short. It doesn't come with the little cube. I guess they figure everybody has the little cubes laying around uh, or something to plug it into. But So they at least send you with the charging cable, I guess. They are $25 even on Amazon today. Uh, their normal price is $28.99. So basically, all you do is you put these things on, and there's three buttons here. Am I close enough that you can see them? There's three buttons here. This middle button is the power button. You just hold that. Power's on. I can hear it said power on. And then you connect it to your Bluetooth. So I just go into my phone settings and my Bluetooth. Is it flashing? It should be flashing. Yeah, see it's flashing. It means it's looking to pair. It's not coming up though. Oh, there it is. BT-FAAH, BT fa So you pair it, and then it says connected, and we're good to go. So it was that easy, now I'm all set, and you can play music or podcasts or sleep noises, whatever you wanna to listen to, right in here. So I'll start with the good. It's Bluetooth. So that's super cool. It's not like you wear headphones and you get a wire or something going on. It is super comfortable to sleep in. So when you have this thing down, it does block a lot of the light except for right here. Um, and then these actually, if you're a side sleeper like me, you don't really feel them, especially when you got a pillow up against them. I, I don't notice these at all when I tried them. Supposedly, it takes two hours to get a full charge and then they're good for 10 hours of playback. All the electronics come out so you can pull the head, headphones and the controller right out of here and this thing is 100% washable, so that's cool. Apparently, there's a microphone built in so you can talk to people. So like if you're sleeping and somebody calls, I didn't test that if your phone is on silent, if it would ring through that would be really annoying. I know in my truck when I'm driving and the phone's on silent, it still rings through the truck. So I wonder if it would do that on this. I wouldn't like that. I mean, there's not much to these things. I think that's the entirety. It does use a micro USB to charge and that tucks right into there. Um, I didn't really notice that on my head. I don't know how, but I don't really feel the stuff inside here on my head when you're on the pillow. So. Now that I've got the good out of the way, let me get the bad out of the way. Uh, I'll start off by saying with the bad, I'm returning it. So that should tell you something. There are a lot of good reviews on Amazon for this thing. In fact, it has 4.3 out of five stars. So I'm one of the very small uh, percentage of people that don't like this thing apparently. And I'll tell you why. So the first thing is when you have this thing on, and you're wearing it and you're trying to sleep, it is, it's not super hot, but it is hot. You know, you're wearing a full like headband face thing cover and it gets warm. I couldn't imagine trying to wear this thing in the summer. Um, it's just, it's warm. Uh, the second thing that I don't like about it is the controls. Um, the power on is easy, but then the volume up and down is also the same as track up and track down. So if you click it, that is to change the track and you have to hold it to do the volume. Now the problem with that is 
you hold it and if you let go too quickly, it changes the, changes the track. And if you hold it and you hold it too long, it changes the volume too much. So it, it's nice that it has it on there. I just wish the buttons were reversed so that when you click it, it changed the volume. And then when you hold it, it would just change to the next track. And as soon as it changed, you would know to let go. But it's really, you're like listening intently to like get the sound right when you're holding it. That doesn't work very well. Hey, if you're getting anything of value out of this right now, go down below, click the thumbs up button, leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel. All right, back to the video. So the other thing I don't like about it is when it's playing for an hour or whatever, like let's say you have an iTunes playlist set up, for example, and the it's set for an hour and then the hour's up and the playlist stops. This thing says connected very loud. And that is jarring. I was trying to use this the other night and I did something that was an hour long or whatever. And when it ended, I was asleep, dead asleep, and it yelled connecting into my ear and it jarred me awake. So that is a big downside. The other thing I really don't like about it is you have to know exactly what you want to listen to and what you can fall asleep to. Um, it's really annoying to put on, like I, I tried with a station on Pandora, a sleep station, and the music was playing and I didn't really like it that much. So I had to like, you know, skip tracks or whatever. Or one track would be really sleepy and one actually wasn't very sleepy sounding. Um, so unless you know exactly what you want to listen to, that doesn't, that doesn't work very well. And the other bad thing about using something like Pandora or something else that has ads is like with my Pandora, at least the ads are louder than the music for some reason, probably because they want to get your attention to listen to the ad. So I'll be listening to calming, you know, sleepy type music. And then every few songs, you get this jarring ad that comes on. So that doesn't work very well. Um, but you could do like your own, like I said, an iTunes playlist or something like that that you had. The only problem is that when it's done playing, this thing yells connected in your ear. Uh, oh, another thing that I wasn't really fond of was, you know, if you're sleeping on your back, um, the headphones aren't covered, right? You're sleeping back here, the pressure's back here, and the music is at one level. And then when you turn, it pushes that headphone into your ear and it gets a lot louder. So that was something that like, I'd be laying on my back and then I'd roll on my side and it would get really loud and I'd turn the volume down and then I'd roll back on my back and the volume would get quiet again. And it was like, it was like screwing with my head, just me trying to get comfortable in bed. Um, but I mean, that's what it is, it's headphones. So I don't know. Uh, it's a good thing I got it off Amazon and they do free hassle-free returns. So you just pop this thing back in the mail and we'll take it back. But um, not too happy with it. So like I said, I'm returning this. Um, I don't like it. I don't think it works for me for what I need. But like I also said, I'm one of the very few percentage of people that doesn't like it. All right. Well, thanks for watching. If you got anything at all out of this video, give it a thumbs up down below. It helps it get into the YouTube algorithm and all that jazz. Uh, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this. If you have one and you like it or dislike it, or if you're interested in buying one and I persuaded you to not get it, let me know. Um, again, there's a lot of people that really, really love these things based on the reviews. So don't let me deter you. Use your own best judgment. And if you do buy it off Amazon, it costs nothing to return it. So you can always buy it, try it out and send it back if you don't like it. Uh, again, there's a link for this down in the description if you're interested in one for yourself. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more videos about leveling up your life. I did buy this and do a video on this because this was the intent of this was that it was going to increase my quality of sleep, which was going to increase my quality of life. And this whole channel is dedicated to that, uh, this leveling up your life. So. That being said, two thumbs down for this thing and sending it back and I will see you on the next video. All right, bye.